Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, and we're opening mail today. As you can see, there's quite a lot. We've got something from Germany. We've got something from, let me have a look. We've got something from Amsterdam. No, not Amsterdam, but the Netherlands. We've got something from, I don't know where, but look at the stamp. It's a cow, so it's got to be the Netherlands. You know what? Let's start with the cow stamp one. Let's, let's go for it. Always great to have a mail day. Okay, there we can see the card, I guess. I don't want to spoil anything yet. Let me see the back. Let's have a look here. Ah, there we go. A Throne of Bone, and it's from the Revised Collection. How sweet is that? I still need Throne of Bones, so I'm really happy. And uh, the art of this card is pretty cool. I'm just trying to find like, what's the best way of getting the tape off. Let's have a look here. It's actually pretty tricky. There we go. There we go. Okay, it's not that tricky. So, still collecting. I'm still on my revised road trip. And I'm getting closer to completion. So here are some Throne of Bones. Oh, and a flying carpet. Look at that, pretty cool. So Throne of Bone, um, one to cast, artifact. You can pay one and then any black spell cast gives you one life. It can only give you one life each time a black spell is cast. But for me, Throne of Bone is mainly just this art by Anson Maddox. Look at that, I mean. Is he representing a black mage? And he's sitting, his throne is in the shape of a skull. It's, it's beautiful art. Really, it really is. Throne of bone. Hardly sees any play. And then we've got the flying carpet. So it's four to cast. And for two and tap, gives one creature flying ability until end of turn. If that creature is destroyed before end of turn, so is flying carpet, a Mark Tedden piece of art. This always kind of reminds me, of course, of City of Brass here in the background. And I think from a flavor perspective, it makes absolute sense that the flying carpet is destroyed if the creature is destroyed, but it does make the flying carpet less useful because of that ability of course but from a flavor perspective it makes sense you're on the carpet you know the creature gets destroyed then it makes sense that the carpet gets destroyed as well pretty cool um actually my brother played a green deck with flying carpet and force of nature now that was pretty sweet and the next one here okay we've got a barrel's cage from the chronicles i'm actually playing this right now in a the dark tournament it's pretty cool Barrel's Cage. Okay, and the last one, Clockwork Beast. Cool art, and I believe I now have a full playset. I'm not sure. Or is this number three? Anyway, Clockwork Beast, six to cast for an 0-4 creature, and then it reads, put seven plus one plus O counters on Beast. After Beast attacks or blocks a creature, discard a counter. During the upkeep phase, controller may buy... We buy back lost counters for one per counter. This taps the beast. Now, obviously, the tapping is what, what's making the beast not very useful. But still, it's six mana for a 7-4. That is pretty strong, right? Seven power. Okay, so we've got four cards, three cards completely new for my uh, revised collection. So I'm really happy with that. Not really sure why the barrel's cage is there, but hey, I'll take it. And let's go for the next one. I think I know what this is because I think it is a Golgothian Silax. I think. But I'm not sure. And this came from Tristan. So Tristan, if you're watching this video by any chance, thank you very much for um, selling this to me. I really need this card so we've got a nice what language is this i think it is italian but i could be absolutely wrong so let me know in the comments below if you know the language of this mountain thank you i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this oh look at this very cool sleeve transformers I usually, when I when I play Tron and I would assemble Tron, I would make like a transformer sound. I'm, I'm not going to do it now because it's 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 bad. But 
just for fun, I would uh, I would make a little transformer sound when I assembled all the pieces of Tron. So this is the card I was really looking forward to, Golgovian Silex. Now I haven't played with this card. This is my second copy. Um, it's four to cast. You pay one. All cards from the Antiquities expansion, including the Golgovian Silex, must be discarded from play. So this is a great way to kill Mistress Factories. Well, I say great way. It's not really a great way because it's four to cast. It's one to use. So it's five if you want to use it in the same turn. If you're casting it and you don't have enough mana to use it straight away, you're giving your opponent an entire cycle to respond. So it's, but it's colorless removal and um, for everything in the Antiquities expansion. So I want to try to use this uh, with my second Golgovian Silex in my uh, Timmy Spellbook deck in the sideboard, right? So I'm just gonna test it out. Maybe it's not gonna work, maybe it is, but well, at least I've got a second copy, you know? So thank you, Tristan, for sending this out to me. So this is the Golgovian Silex. And then we've got this. This looks like it's a chunk of cards, a dis decent chunk of cards. So I'm gonna open it right here. And this is from Germany from Vincent, from Deutschland. Let's have a look. Oh, wait a minute, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at this. I oh, mean, I just love these stickers. Wow, how cool is that? So we've got a nice, beautiful sticker. So thank you, Vincent. This one is definitely gonna go uh, on my, um, on my magic box, my magic deck box. And what else is in there? So we've got this. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Pins, pins, pins. You gotta love pins. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This one's hilarious. So this is Scooter. Uh, it's just for the people that don't know. I, I guess if you're from the 90s, you know who this is. How much is the fish? Just type in Scooter, how much is the fish on, on, on YouTube? I think that's... Uh, Maybe not even his biggest hits, but that's the first one that comes to mind for me, at least when I see his face. We've got some more logos here. Really cool. And this one is nice. Look at this one. Spice, Spice Award, the terror sitting on the toilet. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh man, sorry. Something went wrong here. Okay, let me just adjust the camera again. Sorry for that. So. The terror is sitting on the toilet and there is the, uh, let me see if I can get it zoomed in properly. Yeah. And I guess here you see the, uh, the Juzam kind of peeking in. That's hilarious. And it is a pin. So very, very cool. Thank you, Vincent, for this. Very, very cool. So I'm definitely, they're going to get a, a special place. I've got, I think like many old school players, um, I have a special box with all the, memorabilia so it's going in there and the stickers going like i said on my deck box and then we have this here ah and we have a letter i like letters there we go hi timmy i just wanted to say thank you for the great work you were doing for me the dragon engine is my favorite card uh like yours is the timmy keep it up greetings from hamburg Vincent. Thank you, Vincent, man. That's really cool. I've, I've actually been to Hamburg once. Ah, greetings from Hamburg. So the, how do I pronounce this? Han, Hanseatic? Han, Hanseatic? I've, uh, I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm completely messing up your old school name. So that's the old school group in Hamburg. Wow, man. Thank you very much for sending this out to me. And I'm, uh, yeah, I just think the, um, this button is just hilarious. I think I saw this on, on Instagram or was it Twitter? And then we kind of started talking about old school. Um, okay, let's let's have a look here. And we've got, no, look at this card. This card has seen life. Let's flip it over. Ah, look at that. It's messed up. A messed up dragon engine. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know why my camera is like glitching all the time. Let's go, let's, let's go fancy and let's not say messed up. This is an altered dragon engine. Yeah. 
Very cool. Um, okay, we've got some cards in here. And yeah, I see a Timmy. Rule number one in life, you can never have enough Timmies. And this is a German one. How cool is that? Abtrünniger Zauberer. Zauberer is sorcerer. Hey man, it taps for one. That's all I need to know. Another Zauberer. Another Zauberer. Oh, cool. We've got a clone for the collection. Very much appreciate that. So we've got a clone to add to the collection. We've got a beautiful Shatterstorm. That is nice because I actually already have a playset, but one of my Shatterstorms is very much dinged up. And this one looks much, much better. So, wow, thank you for, for sharing this. Oh, Rot of Ruin. That is cool. A German Rod of Ruin. Stop the Fedabans. So for four, for the people, I guess everybody knows what this does, right? Three and tap, and you can deal one damage to any target. So it's like a Timmy on a stick. So if you have, it, it should actually be, I know they didn't have equipments at the time, but in a way it should be an equipment, right? Because somebody is wheeling the staff. But I, I guess you're doing that, of course, as the wizard. That makes sense. And, oh, cool. Cool, a German Elvish Archer. I really like foreign cards. Um, if, if, if you've been following the channel, you know I kind of make what I call holiday decks where I only use cards uh, or only try to use foreign cards. So Italian, Spanish, German, French. And the Magnet back. Cool, Magnetic Mountain. That's this is this is a card that, that hardly sees any play. By the way, if you've ever played Magnetic Mountain, let me know. And if it's been useful, let me know. Uh, wow, what a sweet, sweet mill day! And um, I just especially like this. Like you know, Vincent, really, 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 thank you for sending me this this, this letter, sending me these cards, and letting me know that you appreciate um, the videos that I make. That's really a great motivator, you know, to um, to keep keep making content. And I, and I must say, it's just been a wild ride 2020 for Timmy Talks. And I hope that 2021 will be, if it's gonna be half as good as 2020, then I'm definitely gonna gonna continue making lots of videos. And, uh, and thank you for the sticker. And um, yeah, I just wanna thank you all for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And um, yeah, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that by liking there's my thumb um you can subscribe if you're not a sub yet you can leave a comment and you can also become a sponsor of the show you can join timmy talks on patreon uh, and you can already do that starting eight for a dollar a month and you can join our discord and all that stuff so if you're interested click on the link that's appearing right now talking about patreon let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at our channel members and patrons of timmy talks let's go Sailor, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? What if it stands to the wind? I'm starting to wind.